Ah. The constant reminder. Yes. Excuse me. Hey, Ash. Sounds like you got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children. Could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose? That's gotta piss him off. I'm glad that Jacob guy is gonna be all right. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex Cerberus. Just saying. Commander. Ah, oh, Ash. Always the ever loving and trusting, compassionate person. <laughs> Are you sure you want to play this game? Ooh. What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't oh. know what that is. Though I've heard everything <laughs> in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting a scare, game oh. on, Vega. Oh, that was wisdom. great. Okay. Ooh. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one huh. of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him huh. from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're yes, old. Yes, you were. Hey! Oh, come on, James. No need to resort to that. Hey, he keeps calling him old. Give him that cheap shot. That was great, though. Another great line from Garrus. <laughs> Are you chicken? I don't know what that is, but I hear everything in the galaxy tastes like it. <laughs> that was great. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. I but remember that, that agreement. Yes. No, it hasn't. But something tells me we won't have a chance a few months from now, so indulge my impatience. You know what? Sure. You Let's grab drink. the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither of you. Huh. And I never will. <laughs> you are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first <laughs> name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To you, Karen. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I'm lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Aww. Commander Shepard. And Aww. good fortune to us all. I've that was wonderful. my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. <laughs> Oh man, I should bring that up with Rex and Grunt. Oh, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. <laughs> it's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro based antibiotics and antihistamines. Huh. Commander. Still think you can win this, huh? They're I still going at all it. Day, scars. Scars! scars. <laughs> Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know who I have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back <laughs> on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks. That's almost impressive. <laughs> well, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. Oh, no, that's a lie. The Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? 
He's calling him out on his bull. <laughs> oh, that's great. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair uh, enough. We've all got one of those. Just yeah. one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty uh, good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hot shot. That's because yeah. he is. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like Jimmy. a pole dancer on Omega. Always <laughs> got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, yeah, like me. Like me. But mostly me. You weren't even there. I never. I've never used you. I only used you in the beginning because I had no choice. <laughs> oh man, those two, those two. Just a couple of old old war buddies. A new notification reminiscing. available on the private messages terminal. Ooh, an email from Jacob to 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 Bryn. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. Wow. He loves her. And they're pretty serious. By. Anytime they are. Alright, let's see. I guess I'll go back down and there and talk to to Javik. See if the uh <laughs> I should come up with something to call uh, Gabby and Ken. Like the something twins. I don't know. Just some kind of funny nickname for them. If any of you can come up with anything, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I think at this point I would usually get like a notification from Diana in case she wanted to talk to me about something. Man, Our still nothing. The green. Commander. Wow, these two really have nothing to talk about. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. Huh. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Huh. I, 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 you can tell where Javik was going with Those that. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. Huh. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise. Perhaps later, Commander. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go down here, check the uh, Spectre Requisition Storm. I'll see if there was anything I left behind when I was there that could I could give to somebody. Now I could go to the Dreadnought now. But I'm, I'm considering doing something else. One, maybe one of the DLCs at this point. Kind of been putting it off, putting those off. Nope, nothing there. Alright. Got those. Hmm. Huh. Getting stuff that, you know, since I use SMGs and pistols. 
Hmm. Magazine upgrade. Why not? Let's see. There we go. Lowers the weight even more. That's enough. Okay. Now what do I do? Hmm. Gotta decide here. Hmm. I could either go to the Dreadnought or I could maybe start pursuing the go after Dr. Bryson, I believe his name was. Let's see. Oh, Garneau. Garneau. Huh. Yeah. Which is the Leviathan DLC. The Omega DLC, I think I want to put it off towards the end. Kind of a kind of a couple reasons for that. And got a lot of Citadel stuff to to uh, to eventually find and turn in. Can't do that, you know, right off the bat because some of these aren't ha these systems haven't unlocked yet. So I could either go to the Geth Dreadnought, go to Arya Suite, which I most likely will not do, or I could go find Doctor Garneau. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go after Dr. Garneau. I think that's what I want to do. Let me go ahead and just manually save here real quick. Check if there are any messages. Nope. All right. Oh wait, actually, hold on a second. Before I do that, there is something else. any new systems have opened up for me to explore yet. Alright, let's go to the Citadel. Now... Let's head to the hospital. Remember, we found that Turian poison treatment so I'm sure there's a doctor there that needs it you're cleared to dock Normandy do you need ground transport I need to get to the hospital yes commander Okay. Oh, look who's here. There's a doctor. Look at that. Jacob is here. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. How's Doc? How is uh? How's Doctor? It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. 
It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Whoa! Oh, that's congratulations. awesome! Wasn't exactly planned, He's gonna be a dad! I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One that's more awesome. thing to fight for. Yep. You got that right. Absolutely. Ben wants to name it after you. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shepard. Uh, That's nice. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. Oh, no good. Offense. No, 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 none taken. None taken. Good. <laughs> oh man. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Packet keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Uh -huh. Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. <laughs> Same here. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this. But Kasumi loves village, that he's Shepard. there now. <laughs> and then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Believe I'm it. Glad we had time to talk. <laughs> Me too. Got to take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Alright. I certainly will. Just wish you would take back that comment you said about the Normandy being my true love. But anyway. Here we go. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Nice. The general might pull through because of this. Good. We need strong Turian generals. Anybody in there? Nope. After obtaining a cure to the Jedi, no arguments there? No? Alright. So let's see, is there anybody else here on the Citadel to talk to? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. I didn't get a notice for that, but look at that. Miranda is in the apartments. And there's a scientist to talk to as well. Well, in that case, let's go. Let's head over there. To the Presidium Commons. I guess, I don't know. Maybe if I had done another mission or something, then maybe I would have gotten the email from her. I'm guessing. If I didn't come here, I, I think I may have missed out on that. All right, then let's go to the Presidium Spectre Commons and uh, recognized. One moment, please. see if we can meet up with Miranda. See what uh, she has to say. Commons. Said there was a scientist here at the bank. Me talk to? Ah, here we go. I think I know which project you mean. And I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. Nice. All right, let's see if we can find which apartment Miranda apparently is in. Oh, that... 
Oh, this one is open. I got there your message, is. Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. Why can't you say any more? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. It's alright, though. I, tr I do trust you. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. I wish you would trust me a little more. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. Yeah, you told me that at the beginning I think of the, you mentioned this. For, at the second game. I did. Yeah, you did mention this. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Uh, you also told me that. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. Oh, that's this why she's feeling guilty you? about it. Yeah. Yes. That's why it's bothering her. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. It's science it fiction. So we don't have to know how. We just accept it. <laughs> I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. All right. Again, camera angle. Why this particular camera angle? <laughs> Thanks, but it's okay. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. Hmm. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do, good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Hmm. Yes, you do. Okay. And I believe that's it. That's it of, uh... Who we gotta talk to here, unless there's somebody and I just, I'm just not seeing it. But anyway, I think I'll cut this part off here, and I think at the beginning of the next part, we will probably head to try and find Dr. Garneau and try and get back onto, uh, you know, if you call, I started the Leviathan to the DLC like way earlier in this game, and I kept putting it off and putting it off, and uh, I think now might be a good time to go ahead and uh, do a do a mission here for it. Uh, before we do what is going to be a major mission in this game, which is the Geth Dreadnought. Which is kind of funny that, oh yeah, we'll just go ahead and find this Doctor while, uh, while the, while the Geth Dreadnought completely dis destroys the fleet. You know what? On second thought, it, I, you know, on second thought, let's just go ahead and uh, save the fleet. Let's try and, uh, do what we can with the Geth stuff and the Quarians before we think about going after uh, Dr. Garno. I changed my mind like that, that fast. <laughs> okay, so, in that, so instead, let's go after that Geth Dreadnought.